Hi, this is Rose. Um, this will be a sky share since I really don't have the temperature information or any of that. I'm not at home. But I'm at a place where I actually can see a lot more of the sky than um, from my house. And um, it's kind of an interesting sky. I wonder if there's HK waves up there. We do have a storm supposedly coming in. Again, this is just a sky watch. There's the sun. There's interesting clouds, uh, which will probably be hidden by the sun before too long. I mean, we'll hide the sun before too long. <laughs> So well, that's a sky in Ware, Massachusetts, at about noontime. Hey folks, it's Rose, January 11th, 2012, a little bit after 12, and my skies are primarily blue, at least out back here. And there's a plane, I see now. I don't know if he's building a trail or if that's a contrail. It seems to be dissipating behind him for the most part. I'm going to go check out my front skies. Uh, I was just in a town north of here half an hour ago and the skies were just the strangest looking skies. Uh, hmm. I don't know about that guy. I will go out front and we'll check that out. I'm just going to pan off to the north because that's where I was, was in the north area, on zoom. That's where those skies are really strange. They don't look strange from here, but they did, did look strange from there. So, let me go check out front. Here's my southern sky. There's a different plane in the sky. Let's see if I can find him. Should be in that frame. There's some of those creepy clouds. They are coming this way. We have mostly blue skies. I've seen a couple of planes go by, but just short trails, so I guess they're contrails. I hear another plane somewhere. <laughs> Considering I'm not in a flight path, sure has been a lot of flying around here. So that's my southern sky. Hey, Rose here. Um, I'm going to have to patch some videos together because I keep catching different things. Um, a little bit ago I caught two planes flying over. They looked like they were just leaving contrails. And if they were just leaving contrails, well, their contrails have created clouds. And you can see them now. A little bit ago they were much more well defined. And now they're starting to blend in with the rest of the sky. Pardon the sniffles. Oh, he's got them now. There's some more of those um, flaky looking clouds up there. And I'm going to go look up back. Um, this is how my sky has changed in just the past hour. Gone from clear, clear, clear <laughs> to mottled. I got mottled clouds. Pretty odd, huh? Trying to capture some more of uh, the activity. I've had two more planes fly over that looked like they just had short contrails. Well, they had contrails. Because there was no trails that were long behind them and they dissipated. But they are generating clouds. As you can see them in the south. A little bit ago, managed to catch the rainbow effect. I don't believe I'm going to catch that now. And here comes another one. 
it's like I've seen in the past hour six planes and I'm not in a flight path not a normal flight, flight path but these planes today they have relatively short trails and they are leaving something behind because they'll fly over and then within 10 minutes there's cloud so they're dispersing something that's becoming relatively invisible I can see how strange the sky has just become in uh, 10 minutes since I did the last video I'll put the exact timings as far as what I've taken of these videos so he's approaching the uh, Please that were there. And here comes another one. Really hard for me to see. Oh, I'm capturing him in this frame. <laughs> Sorry. I think I am, yeah. And then there's the one off in that direction. Pretty far off. I'll zoom. the planes today is just freaky enough for me. But I don't hear planes too much. Yeah, think about those clouds. Pretty funky. And uh, yeah, nice no, you have a sun blind. The sun is now starting to be obstructed. And really, for the most part, the rest of my sky is blue, but the sun is starting to be obstructed. I have some really pretty whipples now. Oh, whipples. <laughs> Ripples. And they're getting. Okay. You can already see a cloud developing where that cloud flew. Oh, sorry, where the plane flew off in the distance. It was hard for me to catch it, I zoomed, but now there is a, f now there is a uh, cloud forming there, and I'm going to catch these ripples again, because I just realized I had it on zoom once again, and I'm going to be doing a lot of patching up on these videos, they stretch pretty far, and there's another plane in between the wires, so they're really effing busy flying today. There's the rainbow. Oh, I hope it's coming out. Oh, I'm seeing it with my eyes. I'm assuming it's visible with the camera, too. I don't know. I'm also partially sunlight. It's almost like the colors are radiating off the corner of the house. Okay, but this is where my eyes are, so maybe. Maybe it'll come out on the video. Colors a rainbow was being generated. Oh, maybe it's just my eyes. I don't know, man. This is really freaking weird. I'm seeing a lot of weird colors up there. I'm out of the direct sun. But there are colors up there. Colors and waves and trails and what a freaking day. Okay, this is a short clip I'm going to pass you in later. I don't know. I don't know what's in those. They were all made by trails, by planes. Mostly by planes that left what looked like contrails because they disappeared. I'm going to zoom in at least halfway and pan on some of this because it's really weird. And they're very um, thin, most likely very high, so probably wouldn't even see them on a satellite image. But I'll take a look. Oh, freaking me. What are they doing to our skies? 
It's Rose. It's about 4 o'clock. I'm following up on my skies for a period of time after um, the earlier trails. The skies stayed completely blue and I checked them for about an hour. But uh, since that time, the heavy spraying has been going on again. You can see them in the background. Sorry, I have it on zoom. Let me unzoom that. There, you can see the behind the trees and over my head. Brr, getting chilly out here. Over my head, and then it. We get a nice little spirally one over there. So we got a lot of wispies up there that have been uh, generated over the last, I'd say, probably the last hour or so. Those have been generated. Because, uh, <coughs> like I said, last time I'd been out filming, the sun was being hidden away. And then I checked back out, and the skies were clear. Clear as well. And now I check, and they aren't anymore. So let me go uh, quickly do out front. In my southern sky. Uh, yeah. Well, it's pretty obvious. Pretty obvious. showing you from the back. Spreading out real quick now. There's the sun going down. Right there. With all the, uh, the clouds in the sky, we may get a bright sunset tonight. We didn't have a bright one last night. So yeah, they had a busy day while I was not looking. <laughs> they had a busy day when I was looking too. So that's it. Enjoy. Chemtrail sunset. Interesting picture. No bright colors tonight. And another angle of a chemtrail sunset. And yet another angle. This time with the ripples in the clouds. Going the opposite direction of the trails. So I'm going to be down soon, so I'm not going to get much more. 